foil from um, scrap foil from making probably oh I know beads and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some of this foil sharpen my scissors here I could rip it but I'm going to just kind of use this as a sharpen my scissors for a second here I'm not sure how much I'm going to need but I want to make another little part like I've made in the past um, but I'm going to use something different. Um, I'm going to use some of this clay stuff that I've used before. Um, I don't know if you've seen a video with me using this yet because I have it um, to be scheduled for the future because it was for a um, challenge. So don't know if it's up yet. We'll see. But this is um, some clay, dry air dry clay that I bought from Dollarama and it is actually made in Italy. So, what I want to do is I want to make a heart with my um, foil so then I'm not wasting too much clay. And um, I've actually seen um, the, no, I'm trying to think. Um, um, at the moment, I can't remember. <laughs> Lori Richardson, sorry do this technique with the, uh, I think I'm going to need more foil, with uh, foil, so I've done this before with um, paper mache, which I really love, but I decided that I wanted to do a dry clay this time, give it a try, I haven't done it, and um, I think paper mache will take too long to dry for my project, so here we go. So I just want to make this clay heart today and the rest of my project I will show you at a later time. And this will go into my project. Making sure my heart's the correct size. Putting a little bit of pressure in here. I'm just going to the side just to make sure my heart fits. And that's what I'm doing. Now I'm going to grab my clay put some packing tape on here pretty packing tape <laughs> it'll do the job whatever doesn't dry it out be perfect so we've got to make sure that this stuff doesn't dry out and the best way is just to wrap it up with its own package um, to take it out and put it in another package like a, a container just won't work I have tried those um, you still have to have it in. If you're going to put in another container to double, like, really protect it, you got to make sure you still leave it in the package. It just, uh, it's package is meant to close on itself. But the, uh, oh boy, I don't want to make a hole in here. The little tape that you'll see on the package here didn't want to come off the package. It's right here. You're supposed to peel that back and to close it again. I didn't want to just keep tearing at it, so... I couldn't get it off. It's pretty good. Now I'm going to grab this clay and just kind of push it on. I used the clay, I'm just going to show you quickly, on these pieces here in my different molds and they worked perfect. So I really like the way they it dried. It didn't dry like crumbly um, and stuff like that. It was just perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it all over here and uh, squish it on. Try to thin it out as much as I can thin it out and uh, make a perfect little heart. Hopefully. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing. I'm not sure how much, and I want to make um, another mold right here, so I'm just going to, while I have it out, pull out my mold. I am actually should pull out a couple other ones. One of my favorite ones is a cameo one I made. It's so pretty. I had a little cameo brooches. I have a couple of them that I made. I gave away most of my molds that I made, so I have to make more molds. I have to buy more product. Gotta stop doing that. <laughs> And I had a couple different, a few different sizes of cameos, and I gave them all away. So I still have the cameos put away to make more molds, though. Didn't get rid of those. So 
that's pretty. So I'm just going to continue this all the way around. Now, fit it all together. I really like this. I think the clay that um, uh, um, Lori Richardson used was baked. I think you bake it, if I recall correctly. It was quite a while since I watched that video. It's probably a year ago. Uh, it's quite a while. But um, this is air dry, so this that's why I, there's no point in continuing with the rest of my project until this baby's dry. But it's pretty. I just gotta smooth it out. <laughs> Get it everywhere. And there we go. I really want to smooth it out as best I can. And so I'm just gonna kind of smooth my thumb over it here. It'll also thin out where the thicker places are. And if I have something poking through, I can cover it up. Now, let's see if I wet my finger just a tad, how that reacts. That makes it nice and smooth, too. My thumb. Wet my thumb. And there's a bit of a foil poking out here. Pretty basic. Now I'm just putting my leftover pieces this is actually what came off the heart because it's kind of thinning it out as much as I could because it's got to fit in this particular spot so I want to make sure and measure it out it fits so what I'm doing with this is just pushing and then pulling down my finger and getting what clay doesn't go in out and then I'm gonna push in all directions out so I get all the details on the edge and that's what I'm going to do to get that grab some more molds make a few more um, these are the ones that you get for the um, oh gee what are they called the glue sticks anyways or the other sticks that they make. I haven't made these ones yet with this particular ones. But I'm going to play with these two I think. And a few others that I have made. Now these ones the ones I made. Um, I bought the, it pre pre-made and you mix the two pieces together A and B and then you roll them and mix them and that's how you get them. You can even do like this is a I think cake forms, but you can do different um, ones, molds to to route your words that you want. I think they're cute. It's going to take time to get it all in there, but it's not too bad. Really, it's not too bad getting it. So I'm going to do the frames. I found the um, Cameo one I want to do. It has a little hole in it, but it still works perfect. I just made it too thin at the bottom when I when I did do it. Like I said, I just push. This clay just works well that way, so I just push it in. And then make sure it gets all in there. And I think it's like, it's almost like paper clay or something, but it's really cool stuff. It works really nice. And it um, files down with a nail file really nice so then you can get the edges nice. So I like that. And I really like the way it works with these little details too. I use these molds also for um, making like toilet paper. Um, embellishments but this is really nice and light as well so and it was dollar store stuff so it was worth a try and I really like it so I bought two packs just in case 
<laughs> I know it's kind of weird before trying it out, but I'm like, hmm. This is something I've never seen here before, and who knows if it's going to be back. So, when I was at the store, that's my thought. So, I'm going to do that. And I really love this stuff. If you can see on this one here, it's got all the detail. Isn't that pretty? So, it works really, really well. And then the clock base I made. So, and I took some embellishments, like metal embellishments, to make that foss clock face. I got some gears and stuff like that, and I just made my own molds with the modeling um, molding kit to make molds. And I just happened to want to buy the molding kit to make jewelry and stuff like that. So I'd have make my own molds for that, and it worked really well. So I decided to make some other things like mustaches from the drinking straw, those plastic mustaches. I made a mold out of that. I made us a little wooden spool. I made a mold out of that. So it's a half a spool for any kind of projects. To have a few of these on hand and while I'm playing with it, I might as well do these. If you do, especially the alphabets, if you do them every time you pull it out, you'll have few doubles and they'll spell something which will be nice so that's about that I didn't want to keep like picking at this one and get, you guys get bored with that so I'm just moving on to the flower ones here and these are little rosettes and stuff I use these um, with the hot glue making hot glue so they work well um, and now I'm trying them out with this of course I'll try the other ones out and they all work good so I'm sure this will work good but like I said different things it's pretty cool one thing I have to tell you about hot glue that I really like is if you're doing a surface that has a cur curve the hot glue will move to that curve for you um, so I really like that it's pliable and then you can make it look really realistic so like metallic or whatever colors you want And I really like that. So if you have like a bottle that you're you're decorating up and you have a curved edge, you can have the hot glue clock face, something big even, curved to the um, the bottle or the curve. So that's really, really cool. That's really handy for projects like that. That is pliable. So that's one advantage of using the hot glue. It's not so stiff that you can you can do that with. So different products for different things, it's really nice. This will collect, this really picks up the color when you spray it. Hot glue, you got to, well, you do more so have to gesso it and, and so it's a little bit of a harder surface to paint, but not really hard, but just different. And um, whereas this is so much just easy, easy, but still different projects can have different materials and um, hot glue there's no chance of it breaking when you're posting it if you're having a swap or something of embellishment that's handy we'll do my cameo so there's just different advantages of different different projects whereas this would probably it, chances are unless you really wrapped it well they can snap if um, if the post was rough with it by chance. <laughs> I can't imagine that ever happening. <laughs> uh, being sarcastic. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. So, love it. There we go. Oh, I'm going to do one more. This frame here. The frames are my favorite. My favorite things. I would I'd go and buy frames, more frames. I would buy more too because I just love, there's so much you can do with them. You could put them on a card, um, especially if you um, lighten it up using toilet paper, um, so then it's not like front heavy. You can use little teeny strips of toilet paper. I do have a video, maybe I'll link that video um, into the description or into the um, little eye cards there so you guys can see the toilet paper molds being made. 
And I do have a video of the hot glue molds. Um, it's not a great video because it's older, but um, I could link that as well. And if you guys can't hear me, because it's an older video, and I was quite shy, I guess, and talking very quiet. And also, too, I was using an iPhone, and I half the time had it churn, the microphone churn on the iPhone the wrong directions to catch my voice. So that took a while for me to catch on, <laughs> especially if I had a cover on it, too, um, which I noticed on my last shopping video that my cover really made the phone go wonky. It's no wonder I forgot that um, when I'm on speaker no one can hear me. <laughs> so I'm like figuring, I should have kind of figured that out for making a video that it would be harder for you guys to hear. The sound would be distorted. Okay, so there they are. I'm going to pull a couple of them out and see how they go. They, these, is, these ones are pretty good for uh, I tried them out earlier, another day, um, and maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> and they usually come out pretty good. They've been sitting for a bit, but not too long, so I'm just going to test out a couple here. So it's not dry. You can see the gray compared to the back, but I'm just pulling it out to show you the detail. So pretty. I'll probably dry those up like I just don't have the patience but I mean normally you want to leave it dry all the way but this stuff I'm telling you is really good so like resin and all that other kind of stuff you have to really let it sit hot glue is another one you can pull out right away too after it cools so that's nice but toilet paper you might want to let it sit for a bit well you can pull it out but you be careful and uh but if it's a long piece, it's a little harder to pull out. These ones are nice. Pretty nice detail in them. Do I remember what this one is? This is a flower again. It's very wet. You can tell. Some leaves. But I'm just kind of like, oh, excited to play with it. Um, let's try this one again. Let's, let's see if I can win. There we go. So now it's going to dry a lot that much faster. It's cooler down in my basement. Um, so I, I, um, it takes longer for things to dry. I tend to actually take my work upstairs to dry when I need it to dry quickly. Especially paper mache. I'll take my paper mache upstairs. It'll take forever to dry days longer so I'm just pulling it out but I'm not being patient but you guys can be patient I think I don't know I don't know are you guys as bad as I am you can comment below tell me how patient you are <laughs> there's that one now I'm going to end up drying them all up on this side and then letting them sit for a bit after but you can tell by the edges where it's dry, where it's white, whiter. But these are nice shallow, um, this one's going to tear. These are nice shallow ones, so uh, they pop up pretty easy. And I've used these for resin as well, so they work really nice. But I find resin was just, it was just what was left over. It wasn't like on purpose to use it for resin. So, because resin is so expensive, unless you're using it for jewelry. Pretty nice. And the nice thing too, when it's damp, you can kind of shape it a bit more. I'm going to flip these over. Put them on top. And have... A little bit of a nice, because I have so much warped paper here. It'd be nice to have it on top. Or something actually flat. My bumblebee, which I really love. Love my bumblebee. 
So I just go around carefully. This one's kind of got little cracks throughout. Now I'm not sure. I'm just going to be very careful when I take it out. I have um, glued tacky glue, Aileen's tacky glue, to keep something fastened when it was coming apart. Works perfect with this. So the front's all nice, it's just the back was kind of wonky. So I'm going to throw that there. And that's going to dry nicely. This heart's dry nicely, so I keep flipping it over. This side's a little gray. And my last but not least, my beautiful cameo. And look at the details on that. Even with that little hole right by her in your hair, you can still see. See that little bit of a hole in there? Still perfect. And that's that. Then I would gesso them. So then they would catch the color and it wouldn't soak in. And then I would do whatever I want on the surface after that. Hope you guys liked that. It was just a teeny little video of me playing with the, the clay. Um, with these, you can just gesso them as well and paint them. Or what um, some people were doing, um, like uh, Lori, was putting um, paper napkin over top. So that's pretty too. But I'm the, I have a plan for this guy. So, Okay, guys, I hope you liked this little video. Don't forget to craft like a duck. Talk to you guys later. I will link the um, videos of the hot glue and the toilet paper, um, using toilet paper in the molds. So then you guys can see that. Bye, guys.